Okay, right now mine took quite some time before working out. The reason why mine uh, worked out was because I changed something. I want to show you. So if you go to your composite.json file, you will see that here, remember I told you that the, the Laravel generator was built for 5.5 .5 and we needed to tweak it to work for 5.6. So if you look at this, the rest of this was copied from Laravel generator. So what I did was that the only one I changed to 5.6 was Laravel generator, only this one. Only this line. The rest of these lines, I returned them to 5.5 .5 where they were. Uh, you understand? So if you don't return them, your installation uh, might not complete. Your composer updates might be running into errors, all right? Okay, so now we have um, sorted that out. Let's continue with the installation. So um, we've already copied this into config app. Now the next thing we're going to do is to run PHP Artisan Vendor Publish. So we copy that and we right click, then we paste, then we render publish. So um, it's going to ask us a couple questions. Number one is which provider or tax files would you like to publish? I'll just put a zero. Zero means publish files from all providers and tax. So that's zero. Hit enter. And um, you see publishing complete. All right, so let's continue the installation. Now the next installation says API routes. It says we should go to app providers, routes, service provider, and um, replace whatever whatever we have there with this. So I'm going to copy this. Then we'll go to app providers. So the app folder. We'll click on the app folder. Look at the providers. We'll now look at route service provider. You see, you click enter then you will see that there is um this already exists but we need to overwrite it with this Control v you understand so i'll remove the old one and uh, leave the new one save Control s to save the file all right so we're still continuing the installation customize configuration so we're going to have to do this php artisan in fom publish so i'll copy this then go and run the code so i'll paste hit enter so this um, has installed you see traits directory created apps the app based controller created beautiful so we continue so um you have a fresh new lab application i want to basic admin so that's it and to me it's beautiful now the last thing we need to do is to actually install a template you understand a css template so there's this template that infom comes with that's not the only one for instance if you click on templates you see that there are three different kinds of template but the one i love most is the admin lte so if you go to admin lte.io if you hit enter you will see um the template that infom will install for us it's an admin template that looks really super cool you understand with a lot of modifications and customizations you can perform there so um while it's opening so this is it admin control panel you see it has all the features you will need all oh, and it has been downloaded two million times this is just awesome all right so that's what we're going to use um, that's what it's asking us here if we want to install it. So I'm going to use the publish layout command. So when we click on publish layout. So um, if we scroll down, we'll see that there's just one command we need to run on our command prompt. So I'll copy it, go to my, go to my command prompt, right click and paste and hit enter so once you run this it's asking me should it replace there are some files that laravel has already created remember when we first uh, run run php artisan make auth we were able to log in that login page came with laravel that's what it's asking me right here should it redesign it so i'm going to say yes that's why for yes as you can see here it's saying, telling me why for yes and n for no or i'll type yes so i'm going to say yes Replace that, then replace that, replace that, replace that, replace that, replace that. It should basically replace all the files for me. Beautiful. Now everything is replaced. If we go and um, check now, we'll see that our app now runs well. So look at it. Um, Localhost. 
slash 8000 you will see a different um, design uh, if we click on login right now this is the still this is still the default laravel design but if we click on login guess what beautiful nice cool design thank you very much see you in the next video